you want an exposure to a market or an everything asset. they need in one place. We're the world's foremost authority on materials, advisors and institutions. Hello and welcome to the Morning Star series, Why Should I Invest With You? I'm Emma Wall and here with me today is Harry Nimmo, manager of the Standard Life UK Smaller Companies Trust. Hello, Harry. Hi. So you've run the Standard Life UK Smaller Companies Trust for a long time, highly regarded by Thank our you. research team. You have a couple of systems that you have in place to make sure that the, the stocks that you're picking are the ones that are going to deliver returns to investors, don't you? There's the six processes, I believe. Six. That's six. right. Six. I call them six rules for investing in smaller companies. And I've been I've been running the Standard Life Smaller Companies Trust since uh, since 2003. So it's had 11 years to to wash through. So. Shall I uh, just sort of rattle through them? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, the first one, growth is important for smaller companies. Smaller companies need to become large, they need growth. And we're, we're talking about profits growth and ultimately dividend growth is very important. So growth is important. Secondly, concentrate your efforts. There are 700 companies to choose from. Your best to focus on the specific requirements, the factors that you consider will um, go together to help a, a share outperform. And we use a screening process, we call that the matrix, that concentrates our efforts and keeps us true to our process. Number three, we go for quality, quality businesses. And I mean visibility of earnings, cash flows, Z scores is a, is a, is a measure we look at uh, a lot. Uh, I've always found that actually uh, risk Low risk can mean better returns. Actually, high risk doesn't need, mean better returns. In my book, in smaller companies, it means poorer returns in the long run. Running your winners is important. In smaller companies, it's not about taking a 10% or a 20% turn. It's about holding great companies for extended periods for hundreds of percent return. And a, a good example from our funds are things like ASOS, things like Hargreaves, Lansdowne, Ted Baker that worked for many, many years. So running your winner is important. Management longevity. We try and spot these business builders. They're often founders of businesses. Indeed, I would say out of our top 20 stocks, eight of the companies will be run by founders. And the bulk of the rest will be run by individual managers who have built these businesses over 10 years or more. The other final point is don't get obsessed with valuation. Don't just buy low PEs and high yields. That's quite often a sign that there's something going wrong in, with the company and there's a profit warning around the corner. And these, these rules are very specific to smaller companies though, in particular things like running your winners. If you were running a large cap fund, I think people will be tempted to say, oh, oh I'll, I'll trim off the excess uh, gains and I'll reinvest them in another company. But with smaller companies, just because they have had you know, exponential growth doesn't mean they can't expect that again. Exactly. Um, I, I think there's, there's definitely truth in what you say with the very largest companies. Actually, the growth has run out for many of them. So you have to possibly time your investments. That's not my business. I'm, I'm trying to buy tomorrow's larger companies today. And within specific niches, and there are thousands of niches out there, a small company can grow to many times its size in say 10 years. What about the rules for selling a stock? Because you, you have mentioned you have 20% turnover, so there must mm -hmm. be triggers there for you to let things okay. go. Three, three reasons why we would sell a stock. Uh, we, I, I mentioned earlier that we have a stock selection screening process we call the matrix. So it's a, it's a weighted system. We look at about a dozen factors. So when we're looking at stocks, we buy high scores and we sell low scores. So when our screening process moves into strongly negative territory if, if it's in the bottom 15 percent of scores that's a sell signal so a company that no longer complies with our investment criteria the other reason we sell is if a, a share becomes more than five percent of the total portfolio that's too risky too too many eggs in one basket and the other reason we would sell if it um, moved decisively out of smaller companies territory for instance, if it got itself into the FTSE 100, 
we really should be selling our, uh, that kind of stock. We, we look to keep 80% of our assets in the bottom 10% of the market by market capitalization, and that is, is a market capitalization of below about £1.3 billion pounds now. Harry, thank you very much. Thank you. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.